Tom, can you hear me? Yes. All oh, right, can. bingo, bingo. My goodness, I'm telling you, you've really got to be thinking on your feet and thinking fast and be cool under pressure. And I know Tam Tam is because, Tam Tam, you were telling us that you are uh, the founder of a, a new organization called Make It Balance, a foundation, correct? So let's yeah. pick up the story. When when did you form this foundation and why? If you'd like to tell the conduit listeners. So from some of my friends on Facebook, they were saying that I got cut off of the feet. So I'll just briefly start back again, mm -hmm. where I mentioned that, um, you know, I was getting a lot of encouragement from my husband to start my own nonprofit. I have been in executive leadership, senior leadership as executive director and senior leadership in nonprofit organizations for about a decade and always wanted to start my own, but... Um, didn't really have um, the, the ability at the time because I was working for so many other entities and nonprofits. But with coronavirus and when the pandemic reached its peak, I started to write and wanted to do my own single. I was on two compilations in 2019. I was also encouraged to get back into my singing. I've uh, been doing that for so many years. And so I wrote a song called Make It to talk about how people should come together, depending on your family, your friends, your colleagues, whoever you feel is your family, your worldwide family, to come together and form a circle of love and just really bond together. Now's the time not to go out and be all over the place and really come together with your families and form a circle of love. And that's where Make It Balance Foundation came in to then support those circles of love, support small businesses, nonprofits, families around the world. And uh, I align myself with um, people who are driven by this as well. And they join the board of directors. Mm -hmm. I have much gratitude for those individuals. And uh, we formed Make It Balance Foundation. Now, so I, I, our, I know. Our goals in 2020 and 2021 is to support New York City small businesses. We voted as priority for Black-owned small businesses as priority. Right. And for families in Jamaica that have children. Okay, so which businesses in the New York? Is it just strictly the New York City area, or is it uh, Connecticut, Jersey? So the nonprofit um, will, you know, eventually serve worldwide um, causes of pandemics, natural disasters, or other hardships. But for 2020 and 2021, it's the New York City metro area. And again, priority to Black-owned small businesses. Right. So, so make sure we're supporting our Black-owned small businesses, identifying and making sure that they receive support um, from our circle of love. So I know that the conduit listeners who are listening now, um, there are small business owners who are logged on and listening. How would they apply for a, a business stipend? or a, Is it a loan or is it a grant? What is it exactly, Tam Tam? So we began the organization in 2020 during the peak of the pandemic, and we decided as a board to present a music festival. A lot of us have experience in the music industry. I have been producing for you know over six years one of the largest street festivals in New York City. There's other colleagues on the board that have been a part of other festivals and events. So we decided to put on this event to showcase our organization and gain supporters, gain supporters to come and donate so that we can receive funding one, one stream of funding is, you know, to do an event or a gala to bring forth attention to the cause so that we can then raise enough funding to support both sides of the cause, the New York City small businesses and the families in Jamaica. Right. So, so, this, so uh, the event is very much about... A the funding event. right so i okay so we'll get straight into the event because i see my time is running and i know we have to play some of your music we have to talk about this the event that's coming up on uh, august the 22nd which is called make it balance so um tell me tell me about that event that's coming up I know it's going to be virtual because, of course, we're all living in Corona land. So social distancing and entertainment is kind of very much curtailed. Um, how how are you going to make it 
that people want to be invested in this online virtual um, event that's going to be taking place on August 22nd? So thank you for that question. That's such a wonderful question. So, you know, being an event producer for so many years, I know the ins and outs of making it a, an attraction for people to want to come back over and over again. In this time, people really need an outlet to feel um, balanced, to feel stress relief, anxiety relief. So music is one outlet. Music is a therapeutic outlet and balance. And there's different ways to balance. There's yoga, there's meditation, there's fitness. So I wanted to combine the two to make sure that people aren't just sitting on their couch and watching entertainers for 10 minutes a piece perform. I want them to get off the couch, go on the carpet, go on the mat, and do some activities to feel good so that when they're watching the wonderful performances, their, their brains are stimulated already to then watch the performances. Wow, that's a different concept because I know you also are a, a yoga um I don't want to say instructor because I, I get the sense, Tam Tam, that you live that life of balance. Would yes, that be would that uh, be right? But you, yeah, you, you do I, I created yoga for liberty, which means yoga for life. I you know, it has changed my life. I literally for the last year or two have started having it as a practice. It is a daily practice. My family does yoga, my children do yoga with me. Whether we're watching other instructors or I'm doing the instruction, um, I'm accredited in Hatha and Vinyasa Yoga. I'm also in process of getting accredited in children's yoga and chair yoga. You know, there's people that maybe not be able to do all the yoga moves. There's ways to help them, but there's so many other ways to stimulate your mind, body, and soul. And I connected, and I'm so grateful that I connected with people that really bring that to the world that energy and yeah it, it, it's just going to be an amazing event be because we not can not tuned into this show and you listen to this later i guarantee you you should not miss this thing it, it is going to be a beautiful showcase of music and balance okay and there are so many questions i want to ask you tam tam and I'm, my eye is on the clock um, because of, you know, uh, the late start, and that was not anything to do with you. It was technical issues at my end. So I wanted to say thank you so much for your patience and persevering, because it's important that this message gets out there, out there, especially in the times that we're living in, when I know that people under, are under enormous stress, um, from, from financial headaches to employment headaches to, you know, upcoming election headaches, Everything is a headache, and we know that stress is a killer. So anything that can relieve stress, and for me, it's music. And to see music being combined with a healthy lifestyle that perhaps people maybe had not thought about, I think that is in itself a winner because it's a unique and different combination. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And, you know, one thing I want to point out, um, because it's probably mostly adults that are listening or will be listening. This event is for all ages. This is a family event. Bring your kids to the, the TV or wherever you're watching it to watch this and participate. So this is family friendly. It is a clean, positive, holistic event. And that's what we want to promote, to make it balanced, not just yourself, but your whole family and your friends. Now, um, tell us about the roster of artists um, I, I don't know if you have your complete roster, but just give the, the conduit listeners a hint of some of the artists who will be performing and why you chose those particular artists, if you can. Well, for this question, I have to start with giving thanks to my husband, Red Star. When he found out that the board decided to do this event, you know, he's a multi-talented producer, audio engineer, singer, songwriter, the list goes on. So Big he up to Rebel decided Star. to get on the phone and, and start calling all of his colleagues in the industry. And I also, and some of the board members also reached out, but for him, the collection of partners and the artists, rosters, and 
Bless up Michelle Arthurton, who I think is on the live stream. Bless she up should be. Carranza, I see her on the live stream. Those are some I'm... of the people involved. But Red Lestar really took it upon himself to make this massive. So I have to bless up and give him love and an outpouring of artists and wellness providers that want to come along. So you want me to mention a few. Well, before <laughs> you do, before you do. definitely one. So there's two nights. Before you do, let me just interrupt you for a second, Tam Tam. Tam Tam, just hold on. eclectic with the way that he puts out his reggae tech. Tam Tam. And then, and for the second night, we have greats like AJ Brown and Big Mountain. Wow. The first night, the first and second night is going to be a combination of both the music and the balance. If I can point out a few other ones that I, for me, the whole lineup and the whole roster is special. But one that I have been connected to in such a special way is Zoe Maza. She is an amazing talent from Germany, a Liberian German. She's amazing. And 10 year old sensation selectress DJ Zell from the UK. She's from her family's from Ghana. And wow. she's the youngest DJ. We just did her promo today. She she's about to go on Britain's Got Talent. She's amazing. So I mean we have an array. It is mostly reggae, because let's face it, reggae is one of the most positive genres of music there is. If we're talking roots, lovers rock, rock steady, it's so positive. Well, we have so much other talent, Afrobeat, alternative country on the roster. Mm. I like to make it uh, worldwide and and balanced with everything. Right. Okay. So this 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 is just a short list that you're giving us. So we we can expect yeah. that other artists, other performers will be added. But just from the the, the names that you've thrown out. Uh, for the conduit listeners now we can see that there will be something for everybody whatever your music taste and also as tam tam said at the, the top of the show it's a family show so you can feel free to sit with your intergenerational to listen and watch and participate because there'll be something for everyone and everyone will be able to listen to it and of course we're talking about the make it balance uh, it's it's not a music fest it's just a make yes it is make it balance music fest it's two days uh is it august 22nd and 23rd tam tam remind yes, me yes it's august 22nd and 23rd both nights start at 8 p.m eastern time new york time mm -hmm. on the east coast 7 p.m jamaican time 5 p.m west coast time so there's different ways to watch it. You can go on our website, makeitbalance.org, find out all the ways on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, mm -hmm. and then Rick, um, their hub, which is Brooklyn Free Speech, they're gonna be broadcasting it worldwide and citywide. And um, if you go on our website, again, makeitbalance.org, or go to our Instagram, which is at Make It Balance Foundation, Facebook's at Make It Balance Foundation, we have posted all of the ways that you can log in and watch. Um, I know that Brooklyn Arts Media, one of the links is um, brickartsmedia.org forward slash balance. The so, other one is brickartmedia.org forward slash make it balance. Right. Typically, and, um, typically the conduit listeners never sit with a pen and a piece of paper. So the, the easiest way to find out where you can watch this uh, two-day event, August 22nd and 23rd, is just to go to the Make It Balance website, correct? Time, time? Yeah, correct. Okay. Balance.org. I see Aishiba give thanks. Empress Aishiba, she just posted it on your feed. What? And so for me, this event, as I said, the organization started from my song, Make It. I haven't performed live in about 13 years. Wow. Children. And the last time I performed was at B.B. King's House of Blues on Christmas Eve. Oh, about which is, 13 which years is no ago. longer. And you know, I used to travel the world and perform all over New York City and everything. And my priority was always raising my family. My mm. kids mean the world. They come first. It's, it's family, then music, 
then nonprofit humanitarian life. So Tam so, how do you feel about getting back on the performance cycle? Uh, because you've sent me some music and I, I want to play some of this music for the Conduit listeners and the track that you recently released is a track called Make It and it was in response to what what thousands, the world all over is going through this COVID pandemic. So let me just quickly play uh, a piece of the track if that's okay. Can I do that? All right, so this is Tam Tam and the track is called Make It and Conduit listeners, um... This is a an exclusive, I think. All right, so let me play the track for you. Yes, she's singing along in the background, Conduit listeners. The performer, the artist, the creator of the Make It, Make It, mm, Make It Foundation. Uh, you know what? I need coffee. She's actually the guest on the Conduit show, and that was her. You, you heard singing in the background. She's talking about the virtual music fest, Make It Balance that's taking place August 22nd and 23rd. It's gonna have a roster of artists, two of the names that I can mention, or let me let Tam Tam tell you who they are. But before she does, let me say big up to Nancy Russell, and I think that's the sister Nancy. I wanna also say hi to Clive Uzu Anderson. Bless up to you, and Uzu from Lime Tree Lane. I wanna say good evening to Marie Higgins, who's logged on, and of course, Jenny Osborne logged in all the way from the UK. Goodness knows what time it is over there, but it's past her bedtime. Anyway, back to you, Tam Tam. If you'd like to tell the Conduit listeners just a couple of the names of performers who they can see on August 22nd and 23rd. Absolutely. So you have, uh, on night one, you have artists like Edmi Flyroots from France, Zoe Maza, Caution the Icon. I'll be performing with the whole Star Balance roster, which is my husband's record label, and he's headlining the first night of the show. It's an amazing thing. He He's so busy in the studio that everybody begs him to perform. So he's doing a special performance of high-frequency source energy. Second night, you have a long slew of roster, like Simone G, Marcia Davis, yeah. Caution, Anthony Malvo, Big what? Mountain, AJ Brown. What? It's like 50 plus, I can't even list it all. How long, how long is the, is the uh, virtual concert going to go for, Cam Cam, Tam Tam? Each so night. So if I, if I miss anybody on the list, you don't know much little, <laughs> but the list is, is, is not that it's long. And I just want to bless up everybody that's watching this. Yes, I see you, Simone. Softbird Simone, beautiful Simone. Bless up, Simone. Just, How are you doing? Just bless up everybody, everybody who has supported or will support. Please form this circle of love for me. We really want to be able to help. I've been in the nonprofit community for years. I've helped small businesses on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, and the surrounding community. I've helped children and their families with enrichment programs. I know how to get it done. We just need your help, and we need the funding. Yes. Yeah, so